Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kaylee here, and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see from that title, I'm bringing you guys an extreme spring clean and decorate with me. So in the first half of the video, we are just going to completely clean the house, and I mean deep clean. And then in the last half, we are going to decorate, which I know is everyone's favorite part. So right now, y'all, I'm going ahead and taking down all my Christmas decorations. Yes, I know, I still had Christmas up at the end of February it's honestly the longest amount of time that I've ever kept up my Christmas decorations but as much as I wanted to take them down I just couldn't find the motivation at the time to actually do it but now that I am doing it and now that the tree is gone the space feels so much lighter and it's honestly making me so much happier too If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of clean with me's and home decorating content because in 2020, I bought a fixer upper. So me, my family, my husband, we've been going room by room, just transforming this space into the home of our dreams. So our next big project coming up is the laundry room. And we have so many other renovation projects and playlists on my channel, like the kitchen and the master bedroom, the bathroom, all those spaces have been completely renovated. So so far so if that's your type of thing I'd love for you to stick around and for my returning subbies I know I've been gone for quite a while my content has not been consistent and you a lot of you guys like are wondering like girl what happened like where are you and Marcus what's going on and the short answer is that I've just been having a really rough time you know, in November, I lost my grandfather and just recently Marcus and I had a miscarriage and to say that I was heartbroken is an understatement. And the truth is, is that I'm still heartbroken. I don't know when like this hurt is going to go away or if it ever will. So I've been trying to do a lot of things that make me happy and YouTube is one of those things that I really enjoy. So. While cleaning was hard, once I actually started doing it and filming it, I felt re really productive. It was This was the first productive thing, you guys, that I did in a really, really long time. So if you also had a challenging wintry season, my heart goes out to you as well. I know that the winter season just can be hard in general for people, but um, I hope that this video gives you the motivation that you're looking for to clean up your home as well or just find some inspiration to redecorate your space for spring because with spring comes new beginnings and fresh starts, growth, and those are all of the things that I feel like I really, really need right now. So taking out this Christmas stuff is just like for me, the start of a new chapter in this new season. Go 
Okay, so now that all of the Christmassy stuff is out of the living room and the space feels so much lighter, I'm going ahead and cleaning these windows. We've had the curtains closed all winter long, I kid you not. So the windows and like the window sills just needed a really, really deep clean. They were dirty, okay? Just dirty and um, I'm using my favorite product called the spray away glass cleaner when I tell you this stuff is the truth it really does have a streak free shine and the smell I love the smell I know it might not be everybody's cup of tea but to me it smells so good I, I just love cleaning with it so much and also Marcus bought like a little squeegee for these windows and when I tell you using the squeegee make the cleaning so much Funner and faster. I really enjoyed it. So, if you don't like cleaning windows, buy a squeegee that fits within your window frame and it'll just be so much more enjoyable. So it's the next day and now it's time to work on this whole dining room area. We still have balloons up for New Year's because me and Marcus did a little photo shoot for that. Check out my Instagram to see the pics. And then we're also going to be taking out the Christmas tree in here and like all of the Christmas decorations on the hutch and the table. So now that the tree is gone, we can go ahead and tackle this messy dining room table that had just about everything on it. Christmas decorations, vitamins, doctor's notes, headphone steamers, clothes, and even Marcus's work computer. He was working out of the dining room while I was miscarrying because during that time I was spending like all of my time on the couch. So he just wanted to be a lot closer to me, which is so sweet. And um, yeah, it just needed a really good clean. And today was actually the day that we were taking a trip to our storage unit, so I really needed to make sure that I got all of the Christmas stuff out. So I'm using these tubs that I got from Home Depot, and then I'm placing all of the Christmas stuff inside from the kitchen as well. So now that all of the Christmas stuff is out of the kitchen, it's time to start deep cleaning the space. So we're not only gonna be deep cleaning the kitchen, but also the dining room and the living room as well. I wish we could have done the whole house, but y'all, it's a lot. 
And because the house hadn't been cleaned in so long, I made it my goal to make sure that every surface got touched and disinfected and clean so these spaces could be super duper fresh. So throughout this video, you guys are going to see me using this Ever Spring Cleaner from Target. I'll have it linked down below. It's in like this basil scent and it smells really good. Like it actually does smell like springtime. And also Mrs. Myers came out with a whole bunch of new spring scents as well that I'm going to try to get my hands on. I love like themed cleaners for whatever reason. So yeah, I'll have these linked down below and anything else that you're looking for will be linked. If you don't see a link, comment and I'll try to get that to you ASAP. I'm also giving these cabinets a really good scrub down. I always make sure I clean off the handles, but scrubbing the cabinets isn't something that I've done a lot of since we remodeled the kitchen. This bare scuff defense paint is so good. I feel like the cabinets still look brand new and it's been over a year since we painted them. And I'm just so happy with how they held up. They're super easy to clean off as you guys can see. So if you're doing a kitchen remodel soon or you need like a paint for a high traffic area I definitely recommend this one and I'll have it linked so now I'm in the process of putting everything back and also cleaning off this microwave and one of my other previous clean with me's one of my subbies told me about putting a bowl of water in the microwave heating it up and letting the steam loosen up all that dirt inside and when I tell you that trick worked out so 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 well so if you've never tried it before I'm now recommending it to you I love hearing like all the cleaning tips and tricks that you guys have. So if you have any more, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments because I'm always down to learn something new to make cleaning that much easier. So in the fall season, I bought this island off of Amazon because I was like, I need more counter space and I need more room to hold all my baking materials because I was supposed to be baking a lot more during that time. But now that it's spring, I'm so over this island. Like it takes up so much room in the kitchen. Our kitchen is small anyway. And so I moved it out into the sunroom and I have two different ideas for it because I don't want to completely just get rid of it. So my first idea is to turn it into like a gardening station or like a potter's bench is what they call it, I think, and put it um, outside. And then my other idea is to put it in the sunroom and leave it as like a cute little bar area, you know, we're hosting we can have all of our bar supplies and drinks and all that cute stuff out there so y'all let me know which idea you like and then we'll have to give it a complete DIY because it needs some love and now I'm going ahead and working on the dishes there were so many dishes in our sink oh my goodness like dishes overload and during this time you guys our hot water was actually out, yes. So in early February, our hot water heater completely died. It actually ended up leaking so much that it flooded out into the carport space. Like that's how much water it was, it was crazy. But luckily we caught it in time and it didn't get too bad or cause any water damage, but we did have to turn off the water, the hot water heater. So we haven't had hot water in a really long time and now that I'm filming this voiceover, we just got it back. So it's been weeks, like 
weeks that we haven't had hot water so this tea kettle right here has been my best friend for all the things that I need hot water to do and I'll have it linked down below it heats up your water so so quick so I'm using that to wash the dishes and we are just drying them in the dishwasher we tried to run the dishwasher without hot water and the dishes didn't get clean at all so if you guys saw me at the beginning like inspecting all the dishes that's why it was just best to wash them by hand and until the hot water came back on we actually bought a lot of plastic plates and plastic utensils and stuff so we could avoid having all these dishes in the sink So now that the dishes are all done, we are just continuing to clean this side of the kitchen, giving it that really good deep clean. So we're going to be spraying off the countertop, sealing them again with our butcher block conditioner. And then I'm also cleaning the overhead light. It was so greasy and disgusting. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. All right, and now we've made it to the last side of the kitchen that we need to deep clean. And Marcus went ahead and pulled the oven back for me so we could vacuum down there. But thankfully, there wasn't a lot of crumbs, so that was really good. We just went ahead and cleaned off the sides of the oven where we did see crumbs that like get stuck between the countertop and the oven. And then we slid it right back into place. And I'm giving that a nice little deep clean as well.
And now Marcus is going ahead and prepping the door for paint because he supports my habits. He knows I love to paint this door every season. So um, I had bought paint the other day. So he's just going ahead and taping off all the areas that shouldn't get paint on it. So we can do that in the next clip. So on my Instagram, I asked you guys what color I should choose from because at the time I was choosing between like the traditional sage color that we always do here or a dusty blue. And as you can see, I chose neither of those i went ahead and painted the door this beautiful gray color it's the same gray as our cabins actually and it's in the color silver city it's such a beautiful gray and i did this because i feel like i just wanted a neutral color for spring that's weird right i know i always do a fun color but yeah i don't I don't know. I just decided to go with this. So y'all let me know what you think. I actually really, really like it and Marcus says too. This could end up being the permanent color for the door, but knowing me, knowing myself, I'm definitely gonna switch it up probably for fall again. So now that we're done deep cleaning the kitchen, it's time for us to deep clean this living room, which is where we spend a lot of our time at. So there was a lot of stuff that needed to be done in here, wiping down the mirror, wiping off the mantle, and we're also going to be repainting the coffee table. If you guys know, you've been watching me for a while, our coffee table got these scratches on it and I've been talking about painting it for months. So Finally, I'm doing that in this video and it looks a whole lot better in that clip, but you'll see at the very end what happened to it. We're also doing the exact same thing in the dining room, wiping off the table, and then I'm giving this a fresh coat of paint too because it also had some scratches. And these are DIY projects that I did um, within the first year of moving into this home. So they definitely needed a touch up. If a paper crank can fly then really doesn't feel that far so far I always do two coats on this door and I always use the bare paint and primer mixed paint it's it works so well for me and it works so well for this door and I do it in a semi gloss finish so now it's time to deep clean the rug in the living room and shout out to my subby who bought this wonderful carpet cleaner for us from our wedding registry. Thank you so, so much. This is my first time actually using it and I did have a little bit of air because your girl did not know what she was doing. So I paused, watched a YouTube video and I was able to figure it out. And once this thing started sucking up dirt from out of this rug, it was the most satisfying thing ever, but also super duper gross because I'm like, how did all this dirt get in there? This is the first time that I've ever used a carpet cleaner on this rug or just in general and when i tell you this is something that i'm going to be doing a lot more often not just for the deep clean because oh my gosh y'all like i'm telling you the amount of dirt y'all gonna see it was insane So now I'm gonna be using this carpet odor powder to just make the carpet smell a lot fresher. And y'all, this powder smells so, so good. I got it from the Dollar Tree and I'm obsessed. I actually first heard about it from 
the YouTuber Latoya Marcinko. I'll have her channel linked down below. She does a lot of cleaning videos and her and her family just moved into a new apartment. And I saw her using this and I was like, okay, let me try it out. She talks about how good it smells. And y'all, she was not lying. And I can vouch that it smells so fantastic. So you sprinkle it on your carpet and you let it sit for like 30 minutes and then you vacuum it up. So you'll see me vacuuming it later on in this clip. But um, for right now, in the meantime, I'm going ahead and just cleaning out our entertainment center because we're gonna be decorating these shelves later on in this video, like for the very first time. So I'm super duper excited for that. So now we're going ahead and putting our slip covers on the couch. My grandma freshly washed and bleached these for us and they look so, so pretty, all nice and white. In this video, we also ordered them in a gray color and I'm excited to get those as well so we can switch it up from time to time. So not only are we putting on the slip covers, but I'm also vacuuming a few of the crumbs that were like underneath the cushions. But I will leave the link for these slip covers down below in the description box. The lady that makes these, she makes them custom for all IKEA furniture. So even if you don't have the same couch that we do, and ours is called the Stockholm, you can get them for any couch that they have. And she makes the slip covers in so many different colors. Feel it. 
So now that the living room is officially all done and all deep clean, we're going to work on this last area, which is our dining room. Just cleaning off the hutch and cleaning off the um, tables and chairs and stuff like that. And if you guys have noticed, the hutch is kind of over to the side. It's not centered anymore. And that's because we're working on our laundry room makeover. And I can't wait to share more details with you guys later, but I think this is going to be the permanent place for the hutch now so y'all let me know what you think down in the comments You guys, we are so, so close to decorating. This is the last thing we need to do in terms of cleaning in this video. And I'm super duper excited because I love the way the decorations came out and I can't wait to show you guys. So I'm using this wood polish by Murphy's to spruce up our wood floors that we have. I really, really want to get them refinished this year. I feel like this is our year to do it. And it's just like the orangey tint that these floors have is not my vibe. I want them to be a lot more neutral and like a cooler toned wood. So yeah, I've contacted so many companies here in Georgia to figure out who can come out and give us a quote to see how much this will cost to get the job done. But y'all, nobody is calling me back. So I'm like, are we gonna have to do this project ourselves? I know they rent the machine at like Home Depot, but I'm also scared of like sanding the floor too much and risk like ruining them. So having a dilemma with that right now, but definitely want to switch up the floors, get them a little bit lighter and also change out this hearth as well. To make it all right Yeah, I get that you got a history But I don't want to think about no other than us They look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us Thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us Mm-hmm why do I need 
All right, y'all, it's finally time to begin decorating. I'm so excited because like I said, I love how our spring decor turned out. Our space just feels so cute and so fresh, so light. I love it. So right now I'm bringing in all of the spring decor that I bought. A few pieces are from Sweet Main Street, my home decor line. And I'll show you guys those exact pieces as we go throughout the video. And then I got a lot of other stuff from Hobby Lobby. Your girl went crazy shopping on Target. Actually, I have a whole haul video dedicated to my spring find. So check that out if you're in need of some spring shopping inspiration but yeah i'm taking everything out of the bags right now so i can just see and remember what i have and then we're going to start placing everything so when redecorating my home i always like to start off in the living room with the couch it's my most favorite thing to decorate because I am obsessed with pillow cushions so as you guys can see I got a whole bunch from H&M and these beautiful blue tones they are absolutely gorgeous and I'll have them linked down below and I already had the pillow cushions and I'll link those they're from Amazon they're filled with duck feathers and they are so so perfect they make the pillows feel so fluffy and yeah once we fill up all the pillows we'll place them where they need to go Dance for me Easy tiger, easy Let your hair down Come closer Let me see All your million faces And all your million mistakes You don't need to hide Come closer So that we can Now that the couch is all styled, I'm going ahead and working on the coffee table and I'm really limiting the amount of decor that I'm putting here because I want it to look really clean and fresh. You guys know or I think I've mentioned that the coffee table for whatever reason just ends up being the place where a lot of clutter gets put or extra junk mail and things like that so I feel like with having just a few decor pieces we'll be able to keep it a whole lot cleaner. Okay y'all, so let's go ahead and style out the shelves in the entertainment center, like these cute little bookcases. A lot of the decor that I'm using on these is from Hobby Lobby and then I also picked up a few things from Goodwill as well. 
these frames I thought were so cute and this is the exact tone of wood that I want the floors to be when we finally get them refinished so I'm bringing that color in adding some plants and things like that adding in a little eastery spring vibe in this area and I think it turned out really really cute but I do need you guys help because I do have some empty spaces left you guys will see uh, there's like three like cubes or window spaces left where I don't have or I kind of ran out of decor and I'm not quite sure what I should do in those areas Marcus says that he likes the negative space but I'm feeling like there should be something there. So y'all let me know what you think down in the comments and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So I'm basically recreating the same exact design from the other side to this bookcase because I love symmetry. I just do. So you guys see the three like empty window spaces on the right bookcase. That's what I was talking about earlier. Like I don't know what to put in there. I was thinking I could do like candle pillars, but I was like, would that even be cute? Or I could do more books. I'm just really not sure so if you have suggestions as for what I can put in those empty spaces let me know or if you think I should just leave them like how it is let me know that as well and so now we're gonna go ahead and do the fireplace mantle and I am obsessed like completely obsessed with how this turned out um, yeah it just ends up looking so cute in the end This is my first time ever decorating with the olive tree. I know they're super popular and trendy right now and I really wanted to try my hand with like decorating with it and seeing how it would look here in this space. So I'm putting it here in the dining room for now next to the hutch but it is going to have to move eventually because like I said earlier there's going to be a door right there so I don't quite know where else I'm going to put it I thought about putting it next to the fireplace mantle but then I thought that would be too busy so y'all leave me suggestions down below in the comments as to where you think it could possibly go and right now I'm going ahead and decorating all of the cute little shelves on the hutch with my china and items like that I absolutely love this hutch so much and I'm glad they were able to keep it because at one point we thought that with adding the door to connect to the laundry room from the inside that we would have to get rid of the hutch but thankfully we don't and this bowl is actually one of our items from Sweet Masonry that is going to launch as a part of our spring collection on March 15th that's this Wednesday if you're watching in real time at 7 o'clock p.m. and you guys can use the code sweet spring for 10% off and I'm really really excited for this collection because I feel like it has so many like essential pieces that represent the 
like lightness and freshness of this time of year so I cannot wait for these items to go on sale and for you guys to get your hands on them but I love that little bunny bowl so much I thought about putting candy in it but then we were going out of town for Marcus's birthday well for a couple's trip really and I was like okay I'm not gonna put candy in it just yet but closer to Easter I probably will put like some little robin eggs or something Cause there is no one other than me that can make you feel the way you feel when I hold you. I think I said enough. You said you love for me something brand new. You said this is something you would never do. So I did struggle with the design for this dining room tablescape. While the placemats are gorgeous, these napkins gave me a run for my money. So I basically wanted them to look like little Easter bunnies because I've seen it be done before but y'all I was rushing like we were having a little get together for Marcus's birthday so I didn't have time to actually look up a tutorial I just needed to hurry up and get this space decorated where people came over so instead of like making them a little bunny I ended up just like folding them underneath but if you guys could send me a tutorial or how to do the little bunny that would be great because i do think i, I want to that. give another stab I'm at like, it before easter agree. gets here and saying next that, i'm using like, this little pitcher with all these beautiful faux tulips that i got off amazon they'll be linked down below they look so realistic you guys oh my goodness and so i'm just filling up that pitcher with them and i feel like that really set the table off So now we're in the kitchen and this is the last space that we will be decorating in today's video. You guys will see at the end the recap because I did change a few things up. But yeah, overall I love how the kitchen design came out. A lot of the pieces that I'm using are actually from Sweet Masonry and they look so so cute in here. Like I said, I cannot wait for you guys to see and like really get your hands on this collection. It is amazing and so so cute if you guys are liking the video so far please be sure to like the video
Okay guys, so I just wanna end off the video by showing you guys what everything looks like currently. So, um, like this shouldn't be here. These games shouldn't be here and things like that. But for the most part, everything has stayed clean since I filmed, which is really great. I love the way this turned out. The couch looks great with the pillows. Marshy's super comfy. And then over here we have um, the bookcases. And we need to do something down here too. Because the printer paper and the PlayStation and this stuff right here, it doesn't look that good, you know? So yeah, and this is how the room looks without any lights on right now. So yeah, the carpet, like, y'all, so clean. But we need to do another pass on it, I think, just to make sure like all the dirt is actually out of there. We love the way that the fireplace mantle turned out. Super duper pretty. These like candlestick holders, the wood tones in them, are so gorgeous. Oh, so gorgeous. And then like these really pretty Cosmos, they look so real. And these are from Hobby Lobby, by the way. And so heading over, oh wait, I didn't show you guys this. This is something I did off camera. So over here, I just have a picture of Marshy and her bestie, Ollie. And then a picture of Marcus and I, some coasters and some plants. So originally I had these coasters in the basket over here, but then I decided to switch them out for the ones that we are gonna be releasing in the spring collection for sweet masonry. So that's what these look like. Let me see if I can give you a better look. Camera, hold it focus. But they are like braided coasters and we have them in this colorway, gray. And I think we're releasing the black ones as well, this, in this collection. But here's what I mean like about the table, how I have to seal it. So I made a mistake and used the matte paint and I should have used a semi-gloss because it's just way more durable so totally my fault but either way if I was to use a matte like it still needed to be sealed so I'm gonna have to repaint this and I'm thinking about painting these tables back here black as well so I actually have another table that looks just like this one I have another one of these that can go over here on this side. Right now it's in the entryway though. And I'm thinking it'd be cool if both of those were painted black. So you guys let me know what you think about that down in the comments. And I'm getting a call from my contractor. So hold on one second guys. Okay y'all, sorry about that. Again, we're trying to get this laundry room done. Trying to get it done. So the door is going to go right here so again the tree is gonna have to move so wait but, but before i start talking about that i think we were talking about the table so y'all let me know should i paint those black and you know there'll be one here and one there or should i leave them i don't know okay so then over here in the dining room area not much has changed marshy's corner like i tell you this girl has so much stuff she has so much stuff. So this is like all of just Marshy's things. And I wanna find a better way to organize her stuff. I'm thinking like, would a dresser right here be better? Because right now we just kinda have everything in like these random baskets. And it's all on the floor. I kinda wanna get something that's like not as much on the floor. This is her new leash for springtime. It's so cutie. And then her food station right here. And this has been here since she's a puppy. So I don't want to move this. But these things, you know, we can find some other place to put them. And then we have her bed over there. As well as her other, like, main toy basket. Because she has a lot of toys. I mean, toys everywhere. So we're not quite sure yet what we're going to do about that. And then this is how the dining room table turned out. Really pretty. As you guys know, I couldn't figure out how to do like the bunny napkins. And I took these off because we were celebrating Marcus's birthday yesterday. But these are the napkins that I have and I wanna try to use these to make a cool design. So one day we'll work on that. And again, even with this table, you guys see that? It's not even lint or anything. It's just like it looks dirty but it's really not. I don't think the paint took as well to this table and it's super scratchy, like look at that. So I'm gonna have to repaint these. 
but that's okay because I want it to be right. Also, we have a new dining room table coming. Oh, we have a new rug coming too, by the way. Oh my gosh, I forgot to say that. So we have a new rug for this room. It's a little bit smaller because I want this room to be a little bit more intimate. This is a nine by 12 that we have right here, but our new rug is going to be an eight by 10. So just a little bit smaller. Everything's gonna be moved up because I feel like we're gonna need a lot more walking space to get into the laundry room now. Um, and in addition to that, with the laundry room door being here, we're gonna get a round table, I already have it. Got it from the thrift store. It's gonna be a whole DIY. And so we're gonna have a round table here and it's gonna look just like this, but bigger basically and taller, of course. And um, we're gonna get rid of these chairs that look like this and only have the ones that look like this. And I have those as well. Just have to paint them and stuff like that. And here's what the hutch looks like. That shouldn't be up there, but we put it up there for the party. This little post thing that we're gonna keep our mail in and stuff. I am gonna have Marcus like put it up right here. I think that's gonna be a good place for it. And then, um, yeah. Oh, I added these things on, these little bowls from Walmart and then this little bunny from Target. And you guys already saw that bunny. So yeah, but that has to move from up there. And then coming into the kitchen, you see the beautiful door matches the cabinets. So yeah, anyway, um, you guys saw like the little items that we put everywhere. This stuff should not be here, but again, we had a little party yesterday. And then um, just keeping it real, we have not this tree has not come down yet and we have not cleaned out this room yet and ideally in the future we want to put some french doors right here just to create a little privacy because for example like marcus is in there working right now so and i'm in here like cooking or talking to you guys or whatever i'm doing just to create a little separation of the spaces um if you guys remember there used to be an accordion door here but we ripped that thing down because it was so gross Anyways, over here on this side, kept it simple, not much decor, but we do have this new Brita that we absolutely love. I'll have it linked down below. And then in addition to having our microwave here, we also added our um, air fryer here because we just use it so, so much. And instead of it being over here, taking up so much space, it just made more sense for it to be here and maybe one day it'll go in our butler's pantry slash laundry room over there we'll see we'll see oh also you guys this rug is something that i added off camera it's from qvc and it's a part of liz marie's collection with them i absolutely love it it's a jute scallop rug but it has like some cream colored jute as well and this nice oval shape i didn't originally buy it for this spot i bought it to go in front of this door but clearly your girl didn't look at the dimensions so instead it's going to be living here for a while and it is nice to have something under your feet while you're at the sink so that'll be really really great and yeah, I think that's pretty much it in terms of additions besides this candle. So yeah, the gold bunny was here in the video, but I put this candle over here because I just liked the way this looked a lot better. And yeah, I think that's just about everything, you guys. So let's do a walkthrough coming this way. Little Marshy sleeping. And yeah, so that's everything you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. We have a lot more spring cleaning to do. This area needs to be done. The bedroom needs to be done. The sunroom needs to be done. I don't know if I actually film those videos, but if you guys do want to see them, let me know and I will make sure I film it for you guys. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.